Hello friends, it's a pleasure to have you on this video segment. It is still your English language teacher, Mr. Kindness Onyekwere, and this video has been prepared for grade 11A of the Way Private School Students. And uh, the, from this video, we'll be discussing module 7. We will look at pages 105 to 107, so under vocabulary and uh, grammar in use. In our last video, we have started this vocabulary, so in this video, we are going to finish it up. So let's see what the plan is. What will it be like in this three days video that have been prepared? What's the plan? Let's see. Okay. Yes, from Wednesday, 15th of April, Thursday, 16th, and Sunday, 17th. These are things we are going to be considering. You can see it there. And please, friends, this is your homework for each day. Endeavor to do your homework for each day. Please endeavor to do your homework. Okay? Like I said before, we will be considering vocabulary exercise 10 and 11, then which is the last from that page. So can you turn your attention now to page 105? I trust you have your textbook, your notebook, your pencil, and your pen with you. Turn to page 105. We want to start now from exercise 10. Here comes exercise 10. And the aim of this exercise is for us to learn prepositional phrases. Here I say choose the correct item. Check in the word list. Remember the last video we talked about where to find your word list. Now, Carol was afraid from or of damaging her ankle if she stayed in the competition. So, which is the correct item? Is it of? Is it from? Which is the correct item here? Is it with or in? In or to? For or from? In or on? In or with? Which is the correct answer? So I want you to pause this video and try it out. Then you can compare your answer. Yeah, so number one is of. Carol was afraid of damaging her ankle if she stayed in the competition. So you can take the correct answers now. As we make progress to the next exercise, exercise 11. Here we want to revise clauses of contrast. Say, read the example and complete the table. Sky driving is popular, although it is dangerous. In spite of or despite being dangerous, sky driving is popular. So, what is the aim here? We want to revise clauses of contrast. We want to contrast two different things. Now, what do we have here? What do we add here plus is clause? And what do we add here plus ing although let's see we'll add here yes although plus plus yeah yeah comes it then here will be in spite of or despite plus ing form or now okay yeah it comes good now you say use the adjective to make sentences about the spot below. What adjective are we giving? Challenging, thrilling, expensive, fun. Then we have thrilling, dangerous, exciting. Okay? Bossing, swimming, golf, aerobics. So we want to use these adjectives to do what? To make a sentence. Like, although bossing is dangerous, a lot of people enjoy doing it. So we want to use although or in spite while making the sentence. So you have your notebook with you, so you can write. I am waiting. Okay, then you can check your answer. Let's see what you've done. Yeah, so using swimming, although swimming is trying, is fun. In spite of being expensive, golf is fun. In spite of being boring, a lot of people do aerobics. Aerobics. Despite of being fun, football is tiring. Do you see how I have put it? So you can copy this into your what? Notebook. Copy them down into your notebook. Is that right, friends? 
So can you now turn your attention to page 106? Turn to page 106. Why we get into grammar in use? Grammar in use. Okay. Okay, friends. Welcome to this segment now. We are now in grammar in use. So I want you to look at this test. Healthy lifestyle. I want you to identify here the ing form, the ing forms and the the two infinitive forms like the ing forms eating, exercising, adding. Then the two infinitive to be, to change, to adopt, to keep. Try and identify them. Try and identify them here. Say, do you want to be fit and healthy? It's never too late to change. So what do you do and what don't you do? Which ones has to? And which ones will, uh, which ones have the ing form, and which ones has the infinitive uh, to form? Okay. Avoid eating. So this is an ing form. Did you see that? Try to. This one is the to infinitive. Okay. Now let's go to exercise one. Let's go to exercise one. Exercise one says look at the grammar reference section and complete the rules with infinity, with or without to, or the ing form. Find example in the test above. So preposition plus what? Like, love, hate, enjoy, it is a plus what? So let's see. Yeah. So preposition plus ing form two is what they like, love, hate plus what the ing form and the would like, would love, it is it plus two the infinity and the number four can, will, must the infinity without two and the five is wait, can't wait. Remember it is it plus to infinity the infinity form now is remember to keep okay so make sure you write this way down then let make plus some body plus what infinity without two and number seven is forward to don't mind can stand avoid then plus infinite the ing form then avoid eating did you get that right? Good. Okay. Now, let's see. I am tired of playing tennis. I like eating vegetables. These are the ing's. Okay. This is the two infinitive. I would love to go. I must go. Did you see that? Good. So, we we'll make progress to the next. Exercise number two, and the aim of this exercise is for us to practice infinitive ing forms. And the question says, fill in the gaps with the verbs in bracket in the correct form. Check in the grammar reference section. Give reasons. Where do you get your grammar reference section? Remember at the back of your textbook. Okay. Let's see. Joy wants dash. This is what we have in brackets. These are the words we have in brackets. Can you see them? Then say fill in the gaps with the verbs in brackets in the correct form. Let's see. Let's see the correct form. Yes. To start. Wants to start. So what does that mean? After want. You understand? After want, you want to start. To start, join is what after a model verb you want to join. Can I join it? Did you get that right? So these are the reasons where you can what you can put in here. If you know, if you check your grammar reference, if you check the grammar reference section, you will know the reasons why to give. And how to put these words in the correct order okay so copy this done 
into your notebooks have you done that we want to make progress now to exercise 3 and exercise 3 we want to practice infinitive ing forms and the question says put the verbs in bracket into the infinitive or ing forms how do they differ in meaning check in the grammar section reference section okay so we want to check our answer check your answer and see yes Danny has stopped eating did you get that right so it was given and see it eating in between meal have was given stop to have so we now want to complete that of two three four and five these are the answers so you can complete them there copy it down okay then we go over to exercise four and exercise four, we are we are asked to choose the correct item. Then put the words in bracket into the correct form. These are the words in bracket. So we want to put them into the correct form. Then we choose we have to choose the correct. Is it get or getting? Then is it lend or to lend? Is it borrow? We have to put the ones that are double, like returning to return. We choose the correct one and put them in uh, these ones into the correct form so we want to check our answer now to see if you are right yes so go we have to add to go i finally decided to go to the spot camp the problem is the problem is i still need to get some equipment did you get that right so you can fill in these words into these gaps good thank you very much thank you friends it's been a lovely time and i will always encourage you to do your homework for e day from me many thanks bye bye see you soon in the next video